Welcome back here to another Iron Man episode, and today we'll be working on the next drill upgrade. Of course, that is the 455, the next stage. We're getting a bunch of stuff into the forge, collecting a bunch of stuff, and sort of tackling this grind because look at this recipe from the outside. It is actually very big and quite overwhelming. Now, of course, before we hop into it, I want to mention that we are trying to reach YouTube rank here on the server, which is 30,000 subscribers, as you guys are all aware. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, join the code because we are getting closer and closer to 20,000 subscribers. It's actually crazy. So if you want to be here before 20K, definitely subscribe like comment and let's get into it now we will throw this recipe on the screen right now and as you can see we need 10 refined diamonds 16 refined titanium and six mithril plates so this will all take a bunch of time to actually craft because those are like the not raw materials right so we have to throw all those in the forge so we'll get started here right now we're going to warp to the forge actually start filling it up we do have a few pieces already in our ender chest we got ourselves already one mithril plate which is great we need five more and then we need uh, a bunch of refined I think it's mithril. Yeah, I only got two. So we need another like 14 more. And then we also need 10 refined diamonds. I think we need enchanted blocks for that. So we don't have any at the moment. So we're going to work on that probably right away to see what we can do. Because we do have some diamond on us that we saved up from the minions. Again, I don't think it's enough. We'll see. We'll just throw everything together. And I think we have to get some gold plates started as well. Now, if we take a look at this other recipe for mithril plates, we're going to need five refined mithril, one golden plate, one enchanted iron block, and one refined titanium. And that all takes also forging space, right? So we do have the go the uh, gold plate ready in our inventory, but we actually need a ton of refined mithril. So if you take a look here right now, we only have two refined mithril, so we need another three. And then we need ourselves refined titanium, which I don't have, I think, on here either. Yeah, I don't. So we can start refined titanium. So we'll go through our sacks right now, grab our titanium, start refined titanium, and then eventually start the refined mithril as well. That should be good. And enchanted mining sack, and there it is. We got 123. Oh, just about enough, I think. I already got myself a ton of enchanted, actually, from the mining fiesta, which is great. And let's add these uh, refined mithrils really quick. Just fire them into the forge. Three more, so I'll do three for now. And then have, like, two extra slots available for part of the titanium. Let's start a refined titanium right now. Should be here as well on this page. There it is, refined titanium. 12 hours. Jeez. We'll do two right away. Actually takes so long. That's gonna be a problem too with the drills. Just that forging time just takes so long. We might have to reset our tree actually for this to make things go faster. But overall, there you go. We got the forge already full, just like that in like a few seconds, which is great. Which we were prepared a little bit. But now I have to do a bunch more mining to get all the other materials that we need. For example, glassite jewels. We're slacking on the glassite jewels, as you can see right now. We got ourselves a total of two glassite jewels. Okay, we need a ton for this stuff. And we, again, one good thing is when we're killing these mobs is we do have Sora armor now. We did the Sora grind a while back. You guys can check out the video on the top right. But right over here, we got our Sora armor. First page. There it is. And we're ready to go. Exactly. Now, of course, in my end here, I have to grind a lot of mithril as well, as my brother mentioned. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have so far and then what we'll do. So let's take a look here in the ender chest. As you can see right here, I got myself already five refined mithril. Of course, we need a bunch more. We need like 30 for the total craft. So we just have to put that in the forge first as well. Let's go ahead and refine our first mithril here. There we go. I think we only do one. Yeah, we can only do one. Let's do the rest with titanium as well. Let's see. One, two. Let's see. Maybe we can get three. And we can get four. Okay, perfect. There we have it. We've got four refined titanium, one refined mithril. And now while my brother is getting that glass side, as he mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and start mining some more of this mithril so we can get some more of this refined mithril into the forge. <laughs> All right, so I've been mining these glassite jewels here. I mean, mining these glassite members. And I just realized what's also OP is having, again, this flower of truth. Because, again, this will bounce between a few mobs. So I just right click and it'll kill just a ton of them, right? I don't have to go all the way over there, which is great. Also better than the Shadow Fury because the Shadow Fury you have to be kind of close to a pack of them where the rose will just bounce between them. So that's really nice to see. Exactly. The grind has been going quite smoothly. I already have a bunch of mithril as well. You can see here in my sack right now, we have uh, 670 enchanted mithril. So that's a bunch right there. And we're just going along here. We got some titanium as well alongside, I guess, passively. We're getting some powder too to upgrade our efficient miner. Honestly, just putting some extra of this powder that I'm getting into efficient miner does help. You can see right now I have 7.8k already. And I already did upgrade this thing on, like multiple times. So the next upgrade is at 14,000. So we're almost there again. We're basically halfway. And uh, it's been going really good. Like just these blocks alone give you so much. So it's yeah. chill. Alright, so we're coming back here. We got a bunch of enchanted mithril, as I said. So I don't have exactly enough yet. I think we're going to split up the grind here. We're going to spread it up because uh, we don't want to be too boring. Just grinding for the same thing the whole time. 
So let's go ahead and switch to what my brother's doing. Get some of these glass eye jewels next and then just see how many we can drop. And we are coming back here after a little bit of a grind. It's been around 52 minutes. Actually been maybe around, I'm going to say 40 minutes because we're like 10 minutes because we're streaming right now and it's been around 10 minutes that we started the stream. But as you can see, we got ourselves 20 glass eye jewels already. Like that's really good. And I think it's just the Soro here that's helping us so much. It's definitely a really good armor set to invest in. If you have the Soul Whip, you definitely need a Soul Whip. But again, what an amazing armor set. And the Black Hat is probably helping too. But overall, really happy with this grind, how fast it's going. We can definitely get these like plates done quite fast when we're getting like, I guess, five jewels in a few minutes, which is crazy. It's a good thing we got that set again. We have a video on our channel about this set. It was quite the grind. It was actually a lot of fun to do. And my brother's been using it the whole time and he's been getting so many glass eye jewels, definitely more than before when we did our first upgrade on our drill. So definitely, I would say it's worth the time getting this because it really does help in the long run. Also, of course, helps with a uh, Skatha grind. So no matter what, this set will definitely come in handy depending on wherever you use it. Even for the drill, like honestly, there's so many different things you have to do with this thing still. And uh, I'm quite happy I got it. Let's go. We got our first glass eye jewel of the day. It took us like two seconds. Let's go. Look at all my souls laying around. It's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now we're cutting back here as well. We got ourselves 32 glass eye jewels, which is definitely enough for now. And we're going to head here into the Crystal Hollows and get ourselves some diamond. Apparently there's a diamond spot here in the Devon Mines, in the actual mines, in the ceiling. That's what I was just told here by Twitch chat, which is awesome. So go check that out here right now, see what we can do. And as you can see, you can already see the diamonds all around me, even above me. Apparently there's some more in the ceiling. Let's take a little look around. There's a few there. So we can definitely mine that. And if I look down, okay, there's still quite a bit of gold to mine too, which is nice. So this lobby stuff even not... Hasn't been abused too much, just put it that way. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. Oh my gosh, my inventory's already full. Whoops. Uh, let's put that in the compactor, that's for sure. Now, of course, there's also some more diamonds here below me, which is definitely interesting, as you can see. Right here, there they are. And it's just such a breeze to mine this. It goes so fast, and I'm sure I'm getting a ton of diamonds, which is awesome. We'll probably see again how much enchanted we have at the end, but I'm just going to stick in this lobby, just mine all the diamonds I see. Even there's some more in the bridge here I can maybe get. And yeah, literally just mine all this, collect it. And this is so much faster than the minecart in the Devon's mines. It's crazy. You look how big this is. It's like a wall of diamonds. It's so good. The nice part is Talisman's maxed out, um, Armor's maxed out, Gauntlet's maxed out. So we're definitely getting the most out of all this fortune. Thanks so much for Dial for this these cords, actually. You gave them to me, which is awesome from the Twitch stream. So guys, again, we're li like live streaming this. So you can definitely check out our Twitch. Twinkle plays on there. But again, thank you so much. As you can see, there's a ton of diamond here, which is awesome. And we're in another lobby, getting ourselves some diamonds. Thanks again to Remetel for getting us this lobby. Again, look at all this diamond again. This will be so good. And thanks everybody who's been watching the stream because you guys have been helping us get these lobbies, which is awesome. I feel like we have a lot of diamond already. I think we definitely have enough. So this will probably go towards like the 555 or even the 655, which is awesome. All right, so I've been uh, grinding these for a while and just like my brother, I got a bunch now. As you can see, I got 20 glass eye jewels so far. That's actually a lot. I don't know if that's more than enough. I don't know how many we actually need for the craft, but I think we can already go a long ways with this, with these gold plates, with how many we have. And I know, I think I have still a few more in my chest as well, my under chest. So let me just double check that quick, make sure. Yeah, I do have another four here. So we got 24 already. So that is like a lot so let's go ahead switch our grind now to getting some i guess diamonds as well like my brother to get those refined diamonds in there and that way we have enough then for the next craft as you can see even the titanium is all done so let's claim all this here one two three four five there you go i've got two refined titanium and three refined mithril so that should be actually a total of let me check my storage quick i should have five i think yeah i have five refined mithril which is nice that's good and then we have to make ourselves a few more i think gold plates which we need the titanium for so basically what we're going to be working on next is the is another mithril plate. So as you can see, this is what we need basically. We need a ton of actually refined titanium. So we're just going to throw a bunch in the forge. So I'm going to do one slot of this and the rest of titanium mithril plate. So we'll click on that and we have everything confirm. There we go. And we need another three of these. That's crazy. But let's dump this whole forge full of a titanium now. Let's check, let's grab our stack here. Grab all the enchanted titanium and throw it in there. There's one. Confirm. Confirm. We actually need 16 of these just for the craft of the drill, so that's kind of crazy. So just keep doing these, I guess. All right, there we go. Now we'll wait another, I guess, uh, 12 hours. And this one's uh, 18 hours until this stuff's finished up. And then we can replace it and work towards the next step. All right, we got a little bit of a gift here on the side while leaving um, the grind. We've got some titanium. Get all this stuff here collected because uh, why not, you know? It's looking really good. Perfect. Wow, that damn, that was a lot. Oh my gosh, there's more up here. Let's go. All right, so it is the next morning, which means that all the items in our forge have finished up. So let's go to claim these now and then put some new ones in. Our titanium should be finished as well. I think they finished at like 5 a.m. in the morning. So definitely quite the long uh, forging time, that's for sure. Let's work to the forge. Here you have it. There you go. They're all done. Let's go. You can hear that sound. Let's go to claim these. One, 
two, three, and four in a refined mithril. And of course, we're going to fill this all up with mithril again. We did do some mining, so let's go ahead and get all that out of the chests here. Let's claim all these down here. And let's add this in, slot number one. Let's add a refined mithril. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. So you got to wait, of course, another six hours for this. And it's done. But overall, that would put us to, I believe... That put us to 11 refined mithril, which is very good. So that's on the way to 30, of course. You need 30, as I mentioned before. So basically, one third of the way there. And we are cutting back again. It's been several hours here, and our refined mithril has finished up here in the forge, our next batch, basically. So let's sort of claim these five. And I think next year, I'm going to go ahead and put in some diamonds because I want to make some refined diamonds for those gold plates. So again, we need uh, diamond blocks for that. So hopefully, we have enough in our inventory. But let's take a look here in our sack first, just to make sure we have enough. So let's dump out our enchanted diamonds. Here we go. Let's see how many blocks we can make with this. Hopefully, um, a few, but we'll see. Let's see. One, two. I think it takes two per. So one, two, three. Okay, so we can only put one refined diamond in so far. So of course, that's the next grind. We're going to mine some diamonds here. But let's go ahead and get the first one started right away while we mine. Let's go ahead and add that into our first slot. Refined ore and refined diamond. Where is it? There it is. Refined diamond and confirm. Okay, that's one. And just like that, we're cutting back to the forge again, and that's because the titanium is finished. It's so nice to see this happen in a video because, you know, it takes a few seconds, but look at this. It's all finished up. So let's claim all this right now. There we go. And we got ourselves the mithril plate. So another one finished off, which is nice. Now we'll start another one here. I think I do actually have to make a gold plate first. So we'll be doing that here in a second. I'm going to go over all the recipe pieces and see what I'm missing. So looking at the recipe, we actually need a bunch more of the gold plates. And that actually requires a ton of refined diamonds. So I think that's what we're we'll putting in here is refined diamonds because we did mine some diamonds earlier. You guys saw that. We also got ourselves the glass of jewels earlier as well. You guys saw us grinding those. And unfortunately, as you can see, I only have two left and we haven't used them yet. And looking back at my cliffs, I think I sold them. It adds up with my purse, so I think I sold all my glass of jewels I had, so the 35 I collected, which is definitely a throw here. But I hope we have enough diamond can fill up the forge, and while this, like, I guess is in the forge, we can go and get some more glass of jewels. But what a pain here, what a waste of time. I am almost 100% sure I actually sold those because I can't find them, and that's the only spot where they would have went. And as you can see, you can craft ourselves 5 refined diamonds, and for the whole thing, for just the drill craft, we need 10. So, there you go, confirm. Confirm. Confirm and confirm and one more here. There you go. So in six, I guess in eight hours, this will be finished up. But uh, wow, uh, this is so confusing just because the craft has so many like steps to it. It just kind of throws me off sometimes. But we do have two plates finished off, which is definitely nice to see. We got the refined mithril in the forge. We got some refined titanium, which we're going to use for mithril plates. And then we get some extras, of course, for the entire craft. But we're getting there. You know, we're starting to see a little dent. But it's definitely not big, but at least we got some steps finished off. So let's go ahead and continue our diamond grind and get some more diamonds. We are back from the mines of Devon. We got a bunch of enchanted diamonds, as you can see here in my inventory. So let's go ahead and add some more refined in the forge. So let's go ahead and fill this up. We got a bunch more also in the sack. So let's go refined ore. Uh, oh wait, we have to make blocks first, sorry, my bad, one sec. So one, two, there you go, that's one, two, three. All right, so let's put three in first. There we go, one, two, and three. And let's go ahead and add one more. Let's empty this. There we have it. Let's make another block. One, two, and one more, why not? And let's make one more, why not? And another one. No, whoops. No. Oh my gosh. Did I actually just throw and make a perfect helmet? Are you serious? I just threw so hard for this quick craft again. Why do I keep doing this? What is going on? Oh my gosh. So that's kind of funny. I guess we got our perfect helmet out of the way. I know many of you guys were mentioning we should craft one of those for uh, dungeons for being a tank. And I guess we just started it by accident. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, well, I guess we'll just leave it as it is and we'll have to find some more diamonds But we'll definitely keep that in the inventory or in the storage just for the future when We do craft ourselves a maxed out perfect hardened diamond or whatever it's called a diamond armor We got ourselves two more. Let's go ahead and add this now last one into the forge There we have it and Perfect. Well, I'll keep that piece because in the future we will get that set just because you know it's good for collection So we'll keep that here on the side 
And there we have it. We are cutting back after that little grind, that extra grind, you guys already know, but we got ourselves 23 glassite jewels. So we're close to almost completing this again, the 35 we had. It wasn't going too bad actually. With this Zoro armor, it goes quite quick. So I'm happy we have this armor set. If we didn't have this armor set, it would definitely be a pain. But that being said, we're gonna be off this episode. As you guys saw, we got a bunch done for the drill. Of course, a lot more to go, but at least, you know, we got it started. We saw what we need to do. You know, we have all the steps complete in our mind. And now it's just time to just mine, grind, and basically put everything in the forge. Just wait for the forge to finish up, which is definitely a wait that's for sure it takes a few days for some of these things but that being said hope you guys did enjoy the video and definitely comment down below if you have any tips huge thank you to all of the channel members as well you guys can join up here and become a channel member down below right beside the subscribe button it's actually less than a coffee a month that being said will be enough today's episode make sure you guys do also subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one